tree. Leave a tree. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. You got it stiff. Leave this alone. Uh. Now look look up. Look up. Tilt your head up. Now tilt it down. Now move it around. There you are. Leave that free. Oh, that's better, yeah. I'm sure. It opens up your chest. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Marjorie. You're welcome. Leave this free. Repeat this for three out breaths. Now, what are you doing? What am I doing? Mm -hmm. Putting pressure on her knees. What for? To stretch. Stretch what? <laughs> Leave this, this is all set. Leave this free. All right. Now, what are you, come back up. What are you thinking about you as you go down there to help her? See, right now you're the most important person between the two of you, aren't you? Yeah. And so you're a little more important than she is. So I should think of letting my neck be free and my head moving forward and up. All right, so this is going to ease a bit. Leave this, there you are. I'm going to get after you if I see you doing this. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. What do you do with your bodies when you cross your knees? Kaplunk. Everybody kaplunks. <laughs> Now that's a bit silly, really, because all you're doing is picking this thing up and putting it down. Now ask yourself if you have to do this to pick that up. Do you have to do this to put it down? Yeah, but if, as long as we're starting here, all of these things will gradually disappear that she shouldn't be doing. You see, you have to take a little bit at a time. And the most important thing to start with is this area here. We get that going, and then she'll move up here a little bit, and she'll, she'll lose. She's swaying a little bit back and forth. Okay, that okay, helps you, doesn't that's it? That's great. Yeah. Well, what I'm showing you, that as you do each one of those separate little things, you, this wants to be free and a little bit of ease as you turn there so that when you're ready to pick this foot up, your body's moving this way and it takes you over wherever you want to go. Yeah. I know these are fast. What's this in? A keto? No, this is in surfing. It's what? In surfing. In surfing. Oh. Okay. Does that help you? Yeah, it does. But I mean, the, the thing is, it helps you when you're thinking of it, but when you're actually in the time. Yeah. It tends to be sort of like a habitual response, you know, you respond yeah, quickly. Yeah, but the, and... the thing is, you want this little lengthening, the ease of your neck and the lengthening of your body still going on while you do all these other right. things, you see, yeah. instead of turning and, and mm. you may tilt back, but you don't want it go back into your hip. Do that thing off of the floor. All 
All right, now. Now, what's happened, you're dropping here. So if you come up here, it's going to take you a little bit of farther away from your handlebars. But what will happen with this moving up, then instead of you pushing back here, this moves up at your hip joints, and you go forward and you take a hold of the handlebars. Now that makes you really look down there, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So what you do here is to tilt your head. And then all of this stays, and I don't know how far you want to go forward. See, I left you to put yourself where you go, but now if you were going to ride, I'll go on up there. Now, what you would really do, if you're out on the street, as you come forward and move up here and come forward, you would look up in the process because you would have to watch traffic. But you see, there, her head is tilted back there, but she doesn't have a backward pressure, which would make this curve out. See, this is just about as much lengthening as you're going to get. But then it's easy for you to turn here. Did I give you some help? Mm, that's wonderful. Thank All you. All right. Yes, I've got that now. I just wanted to ask you about it again because I didn't really get it. Well, what, you th what you're talking about getting, you never get. You never get. You've got to keep getting it all the time. <laughs> well, you're releasing tension gradually that you don't want. And then that's going to give you a sense of feeling of delicacy and ease of movement. And that's going to always change a little bit better all the time. Because some days you're better and other days you're not. So this is a little bit. Now you, this, if this moves, you have to, con there you are. Now when I say there you are, I don't mean that's a position, but I mean that your head and body are linked together. So you'll take off by a little upward movement rather than dropping back into your hips. I'll leave this, leave this free so this can move. There you go. Leave this. Uh, 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 what did you go up on your toes for? All right. I'll tell you. Okay, you tell me. You did not go on with this or this. Now, this all moves up. Now, isn't that different? Very proper. What do I do if I just am standing around talking to people? I get so tired. <laughs> well, now, when you're in that situation, that's horrible, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You stand on one foot, and then you stand on the other foot. Then you don't have a third foot to stand on, so you don't know what to do. Probably, because we get tired standing, and I don't like to stand too long either. It's, we've dropped our bodies down and there's a bit of pressure on the low, our bodies going down into our hips. I'll stand up and talk to you. So as we get talking and we're interested, pretty soon we're here. Did you see me? Okay. So I have to go on talking. It's almost time for lunch. Everybody's getting hungry. And I'm very uncomfortable. But as I talk to you, I can put my foot over on my weight over on one leg. Did you see me do that? All right. Now, what we generally do when you get tired of this one, you put it over here. <laughs> and this does make you tired. This makes you very tired. Then you go over here and you put it on here so you can get your foot out there. And you see what's dropped, happened to all of me? Then suddenly your little brain begins to talk to you. You're listening to a conversation and you say, oh, I don't need to do that. 
to see what happened? Or didn't you? Okay. So what am I doing? I'm trying to be socially correct. Mm -hmm. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm doing is feeling uncomfortable. So the next thing I do, I listen to the conversation, but I can not hang on to that anymore. Now I decided I want to be over on this leg. And I can move this foot out here if I want to. I can put it any place I want it. Then I get a little tired here and wish I could get away from the group that's conversing. And I can't do it very politely, so I have to stand a little bit longer. And there is probably a time limit with all of us when we get even tired doing that. But by that time, you've found some excuse or something you could do to go someplace else. And if, if you watch these little things, as you are in different situations, and see what you can do. Because nobody's going to notice you do that. They're probably all wiggling around like this. And you can say, oh, I'm glad I know a little something they don't know. <laughs> and I can take myself up there. What do I want somebody to do that for me? Silly. You can go right up. There you are. Now, as you continue this, you, you sense it's happening. Then something hap has to happen to all of this. So you have to be sure you let this all move up. Take this up as you move the leg. Now when you're, go on, move it. Now at, this all goes up, move the next leg. Now move the next leg. This goes up. <laughs> Keep that moving. <laughs> Don't go up on your toes. Don't you dare go up on your toes. Don't try to put these any place. I'm trying to give you a bit of freedom right here. <clears throat> Does that help you any? Now if you want to go forward, go from your hips.
How does that do? Or do you want to stop a minute? Let's stop a minute and talk about it. What, what happened? Was it helping you? Yes, n nothing felt squashed here at all. Okay, uh, because you may want to lean over and have this arm on your leg. Yes. Which you do sometimes, yes. because that gives you a steadiness, doesn't it? Yes. So, as you come up here, just go over and... There you are, and then... You, you have to adjust yourself to the delicateness of all of that. What's that doing? <laughs> you, you think you're never going to get done? That's what right. it's what like kind I'm of doing a rusty hinge in there? <laughs> <laughs> now that looks to me it was much more useful as a slap than what you were doing. Mm. You were doing a lot of little tightening things, mm. tightening you all here. Mm. Now, wait a minute. Let this move up just a tiny bit. All right through here as you slap. Does that look different? <laughs> Let's see what happens if, if I help you here a bit, see what that does. Does that make you feel as if you're working too slowly or sort of halfway helpless? No, no, no. That seem any easier? Yes, and it doesn't feel like it's easy to handle the, the clay yeah. as well. Okay. Now I think you can breathe, can't you? Yes. Yeah. All right. Oh. <laughs> Don't you feel sorry for that nice little piece of clay that had a nice shape? Yeah. <laughs> it was a bit down. Am I bothering you too much? Are you breathing? <laughs> Put them just a little ease up. Does that do anything? Yes, that Anybody see that? A little bit of movement. See in this just this is just a little ease. It isn't a, a stiff position that you hold. It's just giving you, I think, a little more flexibility through your whole body. There you are, now you're breathing again, aren't you? Did 
Does this seem a little bit easier through here? Mm. It's interesting because I used to really collapse in the front. And That's the right. Down. But now, now I'm up. As he just pointed out, I'm just, just the shoulders are coming. If you like. Yeah. Well, well, and you're using to keep them easy Yeah, them. and you're using your arm yes. this way, yes. and th that gives you the freedom through here. Mm. Now, if you want to work on that a little bit, go on and do it. See how you can get along by yourself. Yeah. For f yeah. And for a few minutes. I think what kind of things are we going to do? How about some walking? Don't you think that would be rather nice? All right, I'll let you work on that. And if you want any help, holler. All right, I think I'll start and give you all a few quickies all the way around. You can get up and walk around. want to be teachers, then they have to go through a series of training which allows them to develop the ease and flexibility in their bodies before they can really pass that information on to other people. <laughs>